Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Part 3 Evening, Aisha returned bringing along Norn. See, congratulations, Silphy san Yeah, thank you, Norn chan While facing Silphy, Norn quickly lowered her head. Silphy grinned with a small laugh and stroked her head. Having her head stroked, Norn's mouth loosened up. It was a face that meant she wasn't totally against it. I wonder if she likes having her head caressed. In any case, it's good that they're getting along well. Everyone, today I had intended to go around greeting everyone, but I decided to leave that for another day. Aisha informed us indifferently. It seems she was trying to follow my idea and just go with family for today. So, she returned only bringing Norn. I don't remember proposing such an idea though. Well I'm sure it's fine. Certainly, going around here and there at this time, telling people would be pretty embarrassing, it's something best left for a few days. I notified Ariel Sama that Madam would need to take a rest for at least two years. I also made sure to request an absence from school. On that note, Great Aunt Ellen Eli Sama, gratefully decided to undertake the part of a guard. I wonder if that's all right with Grandmother. For example, the stuff about the curse, she said she'll manage somehow, so there should be no problem. Ellen Elize is good at self-control after all, there's the magic tool as well. I'm sure there's no problem. In an empty classroom, the gym warehouse, and even during classes. There are plenty of places they could use after all. Zenoba Sama will come over during the evening in five days. It seems he intends to eat over here, we should prepare. Ariel Sama will come over in ten days, during the evening as well. When I asked if she would be staying for dinner, she said it would not be necessary. Cliff Sama and Great Aunt Ellen Eli Sama will come together with Ariel Sama it seems, Rinia Sama and Persena Sama will show their faces a short while after, at an appropriate time. The specific agenda is unknown. Nanahoshi Sama had said congratulations, just a single word, congratulations, Badagadi Sama couldn't be found, but I left a message. Completely indifferent, it's almost like a secretary. Aisha sure is excellent, I see, thank you for your work, Aisha. Yes, Onisama. After saying that, Aisha snorted with a fun while looking at Norn. Norn stared back at Aisha with an offended face. It seems Aisha wants to keep up a good face in front of me, so she often makes these sorts of behaviors. The fact that they are siblings of different mothers seems to be lurking in the back a bit. I have told her not to be bothered by it and I treat them with impartiality. I know these two often get into disputes over pointless things. They do say, fighting is proof you get along. I'm sure it'll be fine as long as it doesn't become a cold war situation. In the middle of the fights as well, they haven't said anything fatal after all. In any case, if you say a child is going to be born at the time when Otto-san returns, I'm sure he'll be surprised. Otto-san. After saying that, Norn's face suddenly brightened up. Norn is a father's child. I'm sure at one point, she has said her dream for the future is to marry father. Otto-san's surprised face, I want to see it. Yeah. That guy is the type who would be considerably sweet to his grandchildren. I'm sure he'll be delighted. During the time when Norn and Aisha were born, he was completely deradier after all. After saying that, Aisha and Norn suddenly felt awkward. I guess it would be a bit awkward talking about a time that doesn't remain in their memory. It's something to look forward to right, Nisan. With those words from Norn, we smiled. Silphy and I married. Paul, Zenith and Lilia here. And then my two little sisters here as well. The dream-like ideal from the time we were in Buina village, seemed like it was immediately before us. Part 4, the bad news arrived two months after that. An emergency express post was delivered, the date that was on that letter was stamped half a year ago. The sender's name was Gisu. The characteristic of an express post is that they're made up of extremely short content. Difficulty rescuing Zenith, requesting assistance. The instant I saw those words, everything before my eyes went pure white. By the time I realized it, I'm in a pure white room. I had returned to my fat and menial figure. Simultaneously, I felt like my spirit was being splintered. I focused the irritation in front of me. That guy was there. The one hidden in mosaic while continuing to smile, the Hitagami. Yo. Hey. What does this mean? What do you mean? That letter. The one from Gisu. It said difficulty rescuing Zenith. What does that mean? There's nothing to what it means, I'm sure it's been difficult. You. You said it didn't you. If I go to the Beggarito continent, I would regret it. 
What was with those words? Did you trick me? I haven't tricked you. If you go to the Beggarito continent, then you'll regret it. That still hasn't changed, even now. Ah, oh, I see. I get it. In other words, it's that right. This is what you want to say. If you go to the Beggarito continent, then you'll regret it. But, even if you don't go you'll regret it, like that. That's not the case. Actually speaking, have you ever regretted it until yesterday? You've made a lot of friends, met with a variety of people, even you yourself have grown a bit. You've fixed the bad condition of your body as well. Gotten along well with both of your littler sisters. Moreover, you've gotten married and even have a child coming. Certainly it's not bad, it's not bad, but you know, you were the one that said it, that it's better if I don't go to the Beggarito continent, you tricked me. I haven't tricked you. In fact, I'm here now just to say the same thing again, it's better if you don't go to the Beggarito continent, you'll end up regretting it. But, but, my family is in trouble. Please, at least tell me the reason. I can't say that. Sheet, come to think of it, you were that sort of guy. That sure is a terrible way of putting it. Even though you've always been helped by my advice, talk about whether I've been helped or whether I'm being tricked or different. Hey, at least tell me something about it. What am I going to regret? If it's like this, then I can't even balance things out properly. Normal people don't even weigh out their options you know. You sure are extravagant. Extravagance or whatever is fine. I don't want to regret it. If you just think about it a bit, I'm sure you'll understand. You've spent one and a half years during your school life. Your little sister spent one year in order to come here. There's no mistake that it's become a misunderstanding right? No my little sister saw the letter from me and came this far. If there hadn't been a letter, they should have remained in Millis or remained in one of the port cities. Nope, even without that letter, Paul was going to send his daughters to Asura Kingdom. Since Lilia's family is in that country after all, I see now. After you say it, I get it. Even now it's the same. If you were to leave on a journey now. Then, what are you going to do about Sylphie and your child? Going to the Beggarito continent and then returning. During that time, do you intend to leave your own wife alone? You mean no matter how I move, I'll end up regretting it in the end. That's right. Even if you think you can avoid the regrets, you can't avoid them. If you go to the Beggarito continent, you'll miss a large opportunity as well. That's why it's better if you don't go. Che, if you're going to say that much, then it's certain I'll probably regret it. I get it. I see, then, will you listen to the advice? Yeah, for the time being, tell me. Cough, Rudius, during the next mating season, wait on standby. Then, Rinia and Persena will come to draw near you. Create a relationship with one of these two. If you do that, I'm sure you will become even happier. Hey, suddenly bringing up talk about cheating. I already decided to protect Sylphie's honor you know. My relationship with those guys isn't like that. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. With the echo left behind, my consciousness faded out. Part 5 I woke up. Sylphie was looking down at my face with concern. I realize that I'm sleeping on top of the bed. Ah, Rudy, are you alright? You were having a nightmare. Yeah, what happened after I received that letter? What was it again? I don't remember well. I remember going into a dumbfounded state of stupefaction. Probably because things here have been proceeding so well recently. The shock was big. The letter from Gisu. The words requesting assistance. Something must have happened. However, there are the words from the Hitagami as well. Even if I start traveling now, there's the possibility that it's a misunderstanding. It might be too optimistic, but that letter might just be something Gisu sent out in a panic. That's right, the sender wasn't Paul. It was Gisu. It was Nubi, that monkey bastard. I wonder why that guy would send this sort of letter to me. It's because he said he was going to search for Zenith. At least, there was never the name Gisu in Paul's letter. It might be that Gisu is searching for Zenith alone and he found her. The time the letter was sent was half a year ago as well. It could be that, the time when he sent the letter was before he met up with Paul and the others. That time he might have thought there was nothing he could do, so he sent the letter. It could be that he sent a similar letter to Paul as well. However, soon after that, he met up with Paul and it ended just like that, that might be the case. All of them are, might be possible. I wonder what the actual case is, for I'm in a distant land, I can't even make a guess about it entirely. There's also the matter of Sylphie and our child. In order to get to the Beggarito continent, no matter how fast we go, it'll take a year. It's a road I've once taken down to the port city of East Port. Therefore, it might be possible for me to shorten the time more. But, even if for example, I were to say it will take half a year one way, 
a round trip would still be a year. After all it's impossible, there's no way I can leave behind my pregnant wife and depart, as I thought, it's about that letter right, I couldn't reply. There was my promise with Sylphie as well, that I wouldn't suddenly disappear, I certainly promised that. Saying that I'm leaving a notice of it behind beforehand, so it's not sudden, is just sophistry. Even if we discuss it well, or if I leave behind a letter hoping for her to understand as well, the side left behind will still find it painful. Hey, Rudy, if it's about me, it's fine if you don't let it bother you too much. Now Aisha Chan is here as well, right? Sylphie said that with a somewhat painful looking face. There's no way she couldn't be uneasy about it. Naturally as it is, she doesn't have any experience with pregnancy. A stomach which gets bigger every day. Days where even climbing the stairs gets harder. It might be possible that I could die at the destination. I might never come back. She has no choice other than to fight against such worries. I won't go. I'll stay with Sylphie. After saying that, Sylphie made a troubled face. The Hitagami's words were resonating in my head. In the end, regardless of which one I pick, there will be regrets remaining. Those words. That's it guys thank you for watching subscribe if you want more and don't forget to like the videos.